Welcome back to Mythical Paintings, the show where each week we choose a different ancient Greek myth to paint out here on this lovely canvas. I'm your host, as always, Bob Ross, and I am very excited to have you here today on this very fine, lovely day for painting. I'd like to thank our subscriber this week, Euripides, for contributing the ancient Greek myth that we'll be painting onto this canvas today, the myth of Pentheus and Agave. I'm looking very forward to it. I've heard about the story. It seems lovely, and I think we might be able to put out something on this canvas here that's very interesting to you, and hopefully to me as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I've got my brand new canvas here, and flashing across the screen for you viewers at home right now will be all of the colors that you will need for this tutorial today. So I hope you're ready for this journey. Hop on board, let's get right into it. The art of painting. Now here, I'm just starting off by getting our canvas nice and wet, ready for the newspaper to be stuck on. Today's myth, that of Pentheus and Agave, essentially starts from the resistance to worship of Dionysus, albeit Linear B tablets show that he was actually being worshipped in the Mycenaean age. Uh, however, classical Greek myth represents Dionysus of having a profoundly disturbing influence on Greek life. And now once you have fully covered the canvas in your newspaper, just give it a light brushing over, and then we'll get ready to draw out the outline for our painting today. Grab your pen and give it a bit of a shake off, shake it real good, get it nice in there. Now we're ready to start drawing our outline. And special thanks again to our subscriber Euripides, who provided some info on the myth. He writes that Pentheus, the king of Thebes, tried to stop his female subjects from escaping to the hills and joining the ecstatic worship of Bacchus, who is also Dionysus. Now here I've just used a bit of my Aphrodite pink to paint in the skin for Agave and I've also used the Hephaestus mulch to start painting in the skin and hair for our protagonist Pentheus. Euripides describes the female worship of the Bacchae, where the women raced around the hills in a state of delirium, tearing the nature wildlife to pieces. Pentheus is disgusted and suspects that even worse things will go once women have removed from the controlling influences of their fathers and husbands. Anyway, he goes so far as to have the god himself arrested and thrown into jail. Silly Pentheus, as Dionysus being a god, has absolutely no trouble in persuading the antagonist to dress up as a woman in order to spy on the Bacchae. In an apotheosis of tragic irony, Euripides tells us how Pentheus's own mother, Agave, mistakes him for a mountain lion, not wanting the secrets of the Bacchae to be divulged, herself and the Maenads attack Pentheus, shredding him to pieces. What a lovely scene, thanks for writing this for us Euripides. Possessed by Dionysus, Agave tears off the head of her very own son. I thought I'd highlight this through the crazed eyes of Agave as well as the blood spurting out from Pentheus's head. I thought this was such a lovely part of the myth, hence why I'm painting it today. And I'm just going to finish off by signing the painting by Bacchus. That's the painting finished. Thank you so much for tuning in with us this week. It was lovely to have you, and I hope you had such a good time as I did. And until next week, keep your brushes wet and your myths hot.